All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm showing you how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Windows 11 PC. So the first thing you gotta do, have your controller charged and ready in your hands. Probably dusted, because mine's covered in dust, because it's been sitting on the shelf for a while. And then you're gonna wanna open up your system settings on your Windows computer. And then on the left hand sidebar, you're gonna wanna browse to the Bluetooth and other devices window, which looks like this with a big plus symbol at the top that says add device. From there, with your controller in your hand, you're gonna wanna press and hold on the PlayStation symbol in the middle. It's that little button between the two joysticks and then the share button until the light bar on the back starts to flash rapidly. Once it does, it means it's in pairing mode, so it can be discovered by your PC. Then you can click on Add Device, click on Bluetooth, and then it should show up here as a wireless controller in this list of devices, although it's also showing my TV upstairs briefly for some reason. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Wireless Controller. It just shows up as a generic wireless controller, not Sony wireless controller or PlayStation 4 or whatever. And then that's it, you're done. And now you can use this for whatever you want. Uh, you're probably going to want a driver for this, either th something like DS4 Windows, DSX, Input Mapper, or the ones that come with Steam. Those are all great options that will pretend like this is an Xbox controller, unless the game you're playing has options to utilize a PlayStation controller natively. If you want to remove this controller from your computer and forget about it so you don't have to worry about it later, you can click on these three dots at the top and it says remove device. You can also click it. This will bring up the connected devices list where you can see I've got things like a Wacom tablet plugged in. And you can find it here at the bottom and it gives you the option here to remove it as well. You can click on the remove and then it'll forget this device like it never even existed. Uh, this is useful even if you want to continue using the controller because sometimes the controller just borks and it needs to be reset. So forgetting the device and doing a fresh pairing oftentimes fixes some certain problems. If you're having trouble with this not showing up properly when you're trying to pair it with your computer and you do know that you have Bluetooth in your computer, there is a hole under the light bar when you flip your controller over on the right hand side Next to one of the screws, there's a button in there for that factory resets the controller. Press a paper clip or a pin in there for a count of like 12, and that'll factory reset your controller, and then you can try pairing it again. That's important because it'll also reset the list of connections in the controller, which is useful if it still thinks it wants to be connected to a PlayStation console and doesn't want to connect to a PC or anything else. So that'll be it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry. This has been a brief look at how to connect your PlayStation 4 controller to your Windows 11 PC. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.